Welcome to the fishing show. I'm Muskie Mike and my favorite fishing partner of all time, Dwayne White. We're out here on the Mississippi, Dwayne. Yeah, it's a great day too, Mike. Sun shining. Oh, you can't beat it. Sun shining. And you know, it's the first experience on the Mississippi that we've done on the show, so I'm anxious to see it. The scenery is beautiful, number one. It's just a great yeah. place to be. We're, we're uh, what's the name of the city we're in? We're in Savannah, Illinois. Savannah, Illinois. And we're right off the, the Missis Palisades Park. Oh, Mississippi Palisades. You know, I've been here a number of times, but I haven't been out on the water, so I'm excited about that. The other thing is we're looking for today... Walleye. Walleye. We're going to start out for sure with some walleye. I know it's been... The river's been a little bit muddy. Is that affecting our fishing today? Yeah, it, it slowed it down a little bit, but we've still been getting a few walleye, and okay. uh, uh, hopefully that's going to stay the same today. I think it will. You know, I mean, the conditions, you know, always change. And when you have a river, it goes up, it goes down. We've had a lot of rain this early spring. Yeah. So the river's changed a lot. But you know, you you know, like any time, you have to work whatever the weather perm permits you to do. Yes. You know, you've got to be and especially you've been on the tournament circuit, things change during from one day to the next during practice and then during the tournament itself. So. Oh, yeah. Dangler. Oh, got, yeah. Like we've got today, we've got a mayfly hatch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, a mayfly hatch, and here's July, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little late on the mayflies, yeah. but they're here. But they're here. <laughs> we got a little wind coming up and so forth, you know. Um, but the current looks like it's not, the river doesn't look extremely low or extremely high. It'd be about norm. Or, yeah, it's, it's just a little above the norm, and it's a little muddy, but uh, not real bad. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to use what today? What's the plan? Uh, we're going to use uh, crankbaits. We're going to troll today. And Way we've got we've got two different rigs. We've got a rig here that, that we rig up with a about a two ounce weight. Oh yeah. Some type of a three way rig. Yeah. I've got a slider here, uh, but then we run Rapalas behind that. And we run two of them. Now that's pretty cool. Now you tied that, uh, looped it on the end of that Rapalas hook tail there, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm right into right the on. the tail of the the Rapala, and. Sometimes that doesn't work out real good, leaving the hook on. Other times it does. Yeah. Here in this current, it's working out pretty well. But this is kind of unique because now it looks like a little school going through. A couple yeah. little fish going through, draws a little more attention, and away we go. And a couple different colors to attract the different, different eyesight. We'll do it. Well, we're at our first stop. I guess we got a plan. We don't come out here totally without a plan, right? <laughs> we plan on catching fish. We plan on catching fish, and we got a plan. We're at our first spot, so we're set up. Should give it a try. Take a couple pass, see what happens. Okay, Mike. All right, don't go away because we're gonna catch some walleye today. This system pattern works pretty good up even close. And of course we've got kind of dingy water which helps too. Right. And with that two lures on there, that's got to help. Oh, it does. It does. <laughs> it doubles your chances, number oh, one. It does. <laughs> Most of the time the fish come on the rear one, but every once in a while they will they will hit the front one. Now this one here is uh, straight out. We're just using a crankbait on this one by itself. Yes, what I'm sitting out here. You figure about 75 feet, your experience is showing that on this location to hit the bottom, just yeah, tap it. Just, it'll tap the bottom every once in a while. So we're really just fishing for that walleye that's close to the bottom. Yes. You know? the, uh, these deep divers, they're gonna, like I say, they're gonna run back a little further and they'll actually, we want them to actually dig into the bottom right. and bounce, and, and that's that's when the fish, trigger the fish. It stirs up the bottom a little bit, doesn't it? Oh yeah. You know, so that's what they kind of see, like a crawfish or something was going along. Yeah, and yeah. And these colors, uh, for dingy water, we're using bright colors. Right. And uh, uh, we're about to get one, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm ready. Yeah. fish whatever yeah. it is as soon as Todd gets this fired up so you want me to get the net yeah please all right I forget I never use a net okay all right whatever it is it is a fish I, I feel rolling. a head shake every once in a while I like that head shake's always good oh, it's, it's a the fish right kind. looks like they're what we're looking for <laughs> it looks like what we're looking for oh, yeah. am I in the right spot for you all, buddy 
There he is. I don't see him. Real close. Oh no, he's nice. Nice. He's nice, a man. nice way to go, buddy. <laughs> All right. What a way to start. You don't lift these, do you? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh, nice. Very, very nice. He had him hooked on the back hook. I've got a pair of pliers. Uh, uh, no problem. I got it set right here. Oh, okay. Oh, very nice. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, that's a walleye. Way to go, Duane. That's, <laughs> that's a walleye. And, and we thought, who doubted us, huh? <laughs> very nice. Very nice. You know, it looks healthy. Oh, yeah. yeah it looks real fat healthy. Fat fish over here. Real yeah. fat. Looks really healthy. Nice uh, walleye. No doubt about it. All right. 